Fuck it. Ve oh, wow. Five minutes in the fucking Utah. I'm already in my first accident. I'm also committing my first felony hit and run. All right. Make that my second felony hit and run. Now we got all this stuff here. Brand new state. You can actually go north of Las Vegas now in 15, which is cool. So we'll go swift. No, let people know we mean business with a swift trailer. But there's going to be a cool surprise actually north of, um, north of uh, Vegas. Before we even hit... Utah, there's gonna be a cool surprise. We'll go th through a little bit of Arizona, and that's gonna be cool. Oh God, I f I'm not a big fan of these smokestacks here. It's hard to like see where I'm backing up. Mm, I completely messed that. Look, look, look at that. It's gonna be a bit of a long journey. It's gonna be 448 miles, but it's gonna take us right through the Beehive State, shoot us all the way th up past uh, Salt Lake City, cut this driver off. But we're gonna go all the way up towards Salt Lake City. Past Salt Lake City. We're gonna all go all the way up to nearly Idaho, I believe, or even Montana. I think Montana is like near the border, but I think it's actually Idaho. I'm probably stupid. Alright, this is how you make moves. This is how you make people fear you in the trucking world. Okay, cock. Yeah, you're just gonna block me? I, this dude's literally blocking me. What the fuck? This dude. Look at look at them. He's they're playing along. Making my day harder. Suck my ass, buddy. Again, this is how you get ahead in the trucking world. There you go. Don't even don't even look when you merge. Just merge. Go with your gut. All right. One thing I was kind of hoping, or at least something I hope they do in the future, though, is that they redo Vegas, because Vegas is definitely not up to like the same standards as Utah or Oregon, even like Arizona. Like, even California, like, Las Vegas and California definitely need a rework. I've actually been to Utah IRL for, like, an hour. <laughs> I was in Utah for, like, an hour. We literally, we were in Vegas, right? We were on vacation. And we saw that Utah is, like, only, like, a couple, like, an hour away. So, we're like, all right. Head up to Utah and have breakfast. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I never honestly envisioned myself going to Utah anytime soon, but, yeah. And it just so happens that we're getting a Utah expansion. And I'm going to be driving up the same highway that I did... IRL a few months ago. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, welcome to Arizona. This is the cool gift that I was talking about. I didn't realize we hit the gorge already. Um, but we actually drove through this gorge IRL, and it was actually really cool. And it was actually one lane, too, because they were doing construction back in, like, August. This was really cool to drive through. But this gorge was actually really cool. Yep, here we go. Coming in on Utah, boys. Come on, Utah. Here we go. This might be a good thumbnail. And I believe that was the tone that made... Yeah, that's... I have to stop at the way station, but hey, why not? There we go. Get the Utah sign clearly in there for the thumbnail. But hey, we got a nice, sexy 70-mile speed limit. Hell yeah, I love that. Especially in this game. We can literally start avoiding um, California now. And their draconian 55-mile-per-hour limit. Yeah, St. George, here we go. Trucks no left. How do I get over there, though? Fuck it. Oh, wow. Five minutes in the fucking Utah. I'm already in my first accident. I'm also committing my first felony hit and run. All right. Make that my second felony hit and run. Uh, I gotta get over here, then. <laughs> All right. There we go. Did you get for not making me... <laughs> you could make me do that instead of... Just letting me make a left there, Utah. Turn left. Oh, hi, officer. I wasn't doing anything illegal. In case you wonder, if wondering if the red truck man was doing anything illegal. I'm going to wrap myself around this fucking pole. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. -uh. Man, St. George City officials, man. Uh, they're not going to be pleased when they take a look at this area here. It's all good. This is, this is how you get ahead in the trucking world. Like, what, what's the meaning of this? Something that I have actually not caused. Oh, what? The? Okay. It appears they're at an impasse. You go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. That's literally what's happening here. Um, again, evasive maneuvering. Here we go. Be sure to put on a hazard light. Just, just to warn people, you know. God, even the cops don't care. They're like, yeah, man. I wish I could do the same. See, everyone's cheering me on. Everyone's looking at me, cheering me on secretly. You're driving is fine for... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm driving a truck for Swift. 
That gives me full immunity. At least I have my hazard lights on. Alright, so that appears to be a small accident here. I'm about to cause a bigger one, but no, nah, it's fine. Alright, that wasted a lot of time. We have six hours, though. We'll actually make Ogden. We'll actually make Ogden in time before we have to go high-high. But yeah, I'm probably going to set up shop when I get to St. Um, Salt Lake City. I'm probably going to set up a garage there as well. With every new state, I'm going to set up a garage in, like, the big city. It reminds me of uh, Interstate 17 in Arizona. At this point, we're, like, the highway is, like, on the complete other side. We must be going through, like, a mountain range or something soon. But there's, like, a whole... It feels like... It feels like there was like a giant fire or something like in the middle there. Everything looks dead in the center. Just like a giant valley in the center of the highway. Oh, fuck. Again. <laughs> Just kind of perusing into other people's lanes. Also, I thought these people were merging on, but I guess not. Even though we have an 80 mile per hour, my truck is not going to hit 80 miles an hour. Of course, this jackass is to not be doing 80 like I am. This is not how I drive IRL, guys. I'm actually a very cautious driver, IRL. Oh, we're actually coming up on uh, Provo, which is actually a suburb of um, Salt Lake City. So, Speedlink's actually dropping down to 800 North. Again, Utah has this weird thing with naming streets, okay? Um, a lot of their streets, and this goes from, like, St. George all the way up to the northern, like, Salt Lake City and everything. Their roads are literally just, like, 800, 1600 North, 1600 South. Like, it's literally just numbers North and South. They could have gotten a bit more creative, Utah. Utah people. Utah road namer people. Could have gotten a, just a bit more creative there, you know? And Salt Lake is going to be on our right, like the downtown area. And Salt Lake, despite only being a city of 200,000 people, still has a really good skyline for a city of its population. Granted, the metro population is like around a million, which is kind of like the same for Allentown, but still. Still a pretty impressive skyline for a um, for a city that's not even that really big compared to another a bunch of um, other American cities. Ooh, there's a water park over there. Cool, it's a cool water park, and there's downtown right there. I believe. Right, let's actually get in the left lane. Try and get a nice view of downtown here. And let's actually slow down to ad admire this view. Ah, uh, our guy's getting a bit tired, but we're almost in Ogden, so I'm gonna push it. Uh, that's like, look, you feel like you're in a major city. I mean. Salt Lake City is a major city, but like, that's a pretty beautiful, it's like a little mid-rise, um, skyline. Ah, oh, four-lane highway too, nice. More of these, please, especially when we get to like, when hopefully SCS gets around to doing a Los Angeles, San Diego, like a California rebuild, hopefully we can get more highways like this, four lanes. Really get that southern california or just that california in general high freeway feel that would be super awesome Use the left lane. oh yes another vehicle inspection thank you utah why are these cars just getting in the lane uh, in the port of entry lane like like what you don't belong here little car this is for big manly trucks only right. race across across the salt lake so there's still a lot to discover with utah right. We only very scraped the surface just by going down 15, going up 15 actually. But hey, I'm I'm super excited for any new expansion coming to American Truck. Speed limit here is 40. I'm already doing 45. This road actually reminds me of some of the roads like near here, like some of the um, dual, not really limited access highways, but like there's like stoplights, but there's still barriers in the middle. There's quite a few of them here where I live in PA. So like, this is what it kind of reminds me of. It's actually really cool. And this town doesn't follow the standard freaking, uh, shut up Prius, you can't go. Um, they like, it doesn't, it like, they actually have actual like road names. And they ruined it with 100 North. <laughs> At least name it Front Street or something, or like Walnut okay. Street or something, not 400 North, 100 North, like, that's just boring, Utah. It's like Washington DC, they have X Street, Y Street, G Street. I've never been north of um, St. George though. So I was literally I was literally in Utah for like an hour. That's literally my entire time in Utah in my life has just been an hour. To get breakfast, then we went back to Vegas. Not bizarre Chevy van in the other lane. Alright, let's try backing this in. It's not gonna be go well, but we can try. Alright. This is our plan. We're gonna go in here. Circle around. And back in. This is gonna be awful, and I might not even be able to do it. But we're gonna try. 
Alright. That probably not enough room. That was definitely not enough room. Yep, yep, yep. Not good. That's definitely not enough room. Now we back it in. I know I'm getting tired. That's why I'm doing this. My guy's literally going to fall asleep soon at the wheel. I'm hitting the wall, ain't I? This is going good. I can kind of see it going in the green. Is that good? That's good? Bro, just gotta straighten it out and we'll be good. I'm like right there. Right there. Again, I'm a pro at this. This is this is actually me just pretending to be shit at parking, even though I'm the best. You're getting tired. Oh my god, yeah, I am getting tired. Tired of winning and being good at this game. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Am I not a fucking pro? Am I not a fucking pro? Alrighty, we have we went to the very tippy top of Oregon. We went from the very tippy bottom all the way to the very tippy top. Now it's just on 15 alone. I definitely want to explore more of Salt Lake City. Get a garage, which would be like around here. Is there other garages I can get as well in the area? Or just that? Looks like just that. Um, but yeah, um, there's definitely a lot more. I want to go visit Provo. There's not as much as like, say... Washington or Portland. It's not as dense. Most of like the stuff is already up here, but I definitely want to go 80 across at some point through back to Nevada. Maybe go to Winnemucca or Elko a bit. Explore Provo a bit. Vernal, Price. I do want to visit all the town, but I really want Idaho to be the next state because here's the thing. If you want to go to Ontario, to Salt Lake City, or like Portland and all that, you have to go all the way down through Nevada to take 80 out. Which isn't as bad as it used to be, but it would be so much easier if we could take 84. Because 84, we have 84 here we can drive on. And we have 84 over here, but we can't drive because Idaho's not out yet. Once Idaho comes out, that gap is going to be fulfilled. And we can actually go from Salt Lake City, Ogden, Logan, all the way up to Spokane and all that. So I'm seriously hoping Idaho's next, just for convenience reasons. It's not really a state that I'm dying to play in. I mean, I probably will when I need to get to Ontario from Salt Lake City. I have to go all the way down through Nevada and all that. But that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm really enjoying Utah so far. So far, again, another quality SCS product. It's kind of what I've come to expect from SCS. Another very good quality product. Um, I was actually expecting some more hiccups with the transfer over to 1.36, but no, it's been great. But that's it for me tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yep, definitely. Have a good night, guys.